What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? Scratch Perkley. What's really good in hood? It's your man Theo Butler, and yeah, we y'all see it. It is what it is at this point in time. Uh, thank y'all for rocking with me. Make sure y'all hit that click, like, subscribe, share button, everything like that. If you like what uh, the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit a thumbs down. It definitely helps the YouTube, the YouTube algorithms. What are we talking about today? Quarterbacks, National Football League, salary cap, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson. Ben Roethlisberger. Not, not all equal. They not. Let's talk about it. So, what prompted me to do this video today was I was actually driving the car and I actually um, was listening to a local radio station talk about NFL quarterbacks. And you could tell that the people that were talking, why they knew, really didn't know the nuances or what they were speaking of. They just knew it to be, well, the Dallas Cowboys don't want to pay Dak Prescott. I wish it was as simple as that. The Dallas Cowboys do want to pay Dak Prescott. Here's the problem. Here's the sticking point with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to say it so y'all understand what it is. Dak Prescott wants a shorter contract. The Dallas Cowboys want a longer contract. It benefits Dallas to have a longer contract because they don't have to worry about the salary cap. They don't have to worry about looking for a quarterback. They want Dak to sign a five to six year deal. Dak wants to sign a four year deal. His four year deal actually benefits him. How so? Because it allows Dak Prescott, the person, the athlete, to take advantage of the salary cap when it comes around because they change the salary cap quite frequently and Dak wants to make sure he can take advantage of the, that money. That's what it is. So it's not like Dallas don't want to pay him. That's not what it is. It's a matter of years. Dak wants the shorter contract. Dallas wants the longer contract. Now let's look at Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson's situation is, is that he's looking at he ain't got no help in Seattle. Russell Wilson is facing the same problem LeBron James faced early in his career and is still dealing with. Russell Wilson is one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the National Football League. The salary cap is $180 million. Y'all know why I got quiet? Because I want y'all to go see how much Russell Wilson makes a year. Football is a team sport. It's 53 people on that roster. If one person, forget who it is, forget what position they play. If one person eats up a fourth of that roster, good luck with that. If one person eats up one-fourth of that payroll, good luck with that. See, this is the problem that athletes that are worth it, they find themselves in this problem, in, in this dilemma. You don't want to give somebody a hometown discount, but you want them to surround you with talent so that you can flourish. Well, hell, there's got to be a compromise somewhere, and you can't be the highest paid and think you're going to have a good team. You're going to have to cut the hometown discount. This is why the Patriots were beating everybody's ass for so long. It's because nobody on their team was getting paid. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. So let's spin this forward and now let's look at Ben Roethlisberger. He of the Pittsburgh Steelers who is getting ready to cost them $41 million against a $180 million salary cap, and they have quite a few players that are free agents. And they need to negotiate with them. Now Ben wants to dumb down his contract. It's too late. You're going to let Juju Smith-Schuster walk. You're going to let Bud Dupree walk. You don't overpay for one piece when well, you know you need 22 pieces. Now, if you can get 22 good, if you can get 21 pieces or 20 pieces, 20 good pieces, 
at a bargain discount price while you overpay these other two pieces, so be it. Don't necessarily work like that. People want to know why the Golden State Warriors were so good for so long. It's because they actually drafted Steph Curry. They drafted Clay. They drafted Draymond Green. They didn't go get them as free agents. The only free agent they got was KD. See how last he stayed there? See how long he stayed there? He was gone. He was gone. Now, Brooklyn has enough money because they really ain't got nobody. You know, they gave him a little bit of, you know, they got KD. They got Kyrie. They had enough money to get to James. But guess what? It's not a win-win. Does Kevin Durant make with Anthony Davis and LeBron James make? It's got to be money to go around. The salary cap is there. It's hard. It's not moving. Basketball is a little bit different because they got this bird right thing, which means you can go ahead and tax yourself. If you had this dude for three years and everything, you don't want him to go nowhere, you can go ahead and exercise your bird right so you can keep him. Football is not that creature. It's $180 million. And based on the projections, even though we had COVID-19, they're not moving it, which means they're not raising the salary cap. It's stuck at $180 million. <clears throat> It's stuck. This ain't about race. This is about money. If we want to talk race in regards to quarterbacks, I'd be more than happy to do that with y'all. Y'all know I don't care. I don't mind. But at the end of the day, I'm going to always keep it 100. When we talking about black quarterbacks and getting paid and everything like that, it's not always as simple as, as race. Sometimes it's, it's, it's some finances coming. And I just named you three quarterbacks. Ain't but two of them black. They better than the, other, the last dude that I named, but the other dude that been to three, three Super Bowls. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Like I said, y'all like the video, don't like the video, definitely hit that click, like, subscribe button. My wife just did my hair. My head is itching. So, yeah, this is what we got going on. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. That's your man, Theo B. Peace.